Hi, it's about time I made a video. And today I think I'm gonna do my hair while also doing my makeup. But first, I am going in with the Pond's Dark Spot Correcting Cream and just coating my entire face. So I, today I wanted to do a little bit of a NYX haul and a little bit of a review. Because not only the only products I use from NYX are like their glitters, and I decided to try a couple of their eyeliners and one of their eye primers. So first I have the NYX Makeup Professionals Eye Base in the color white. And it comes off like that. And then I have the NYX Born to Glow Liquid Illuminator, which comes in a little like kind of like old fashioned lip gloss container kind of situation. That's a lot. But it looks like that. Actually, I'm going to put a little bit right here, a little bit right here, a little bit right here, a little bit right here. Because, you know, you got to illuminate your chest if you're wearing a bar dot kind of shirt. It's a little shiny. And then I also got the NYX Makeup Professionals Epic Black Mousse Liner. And that swatches off like that. And it's also way smaller than I thought it was going to be. And then I also got the NYX Mechanical Eyeliner in white. And that swatches off pretty opaque. Quite happy with that. So first I'm going to do a little bit of a side part. And then I'm not gonna bring that all the way back because it's all gonna go into one. Then I'm gonna go in with the Cantu Argan Oil Leave-In Conditioner Repair Cream. Taking a little bit of that, rubbing the oil. Well, we just had a minor to severe catastrophe. It kind of spilled all over the floor. It's fine, everything's fine. I'm gonna be trying something new today. I'm putting, I'm really focusing this on the fronts of my hair because I wanna do kind of like that little swoop over the head kind of thing. Kind of like where it comes down like that. You know what I mean? And so I applied a little bit of the Argan Oil Edge Control. And I'm just gonna brush down into my face and create that little curve. I'm pretty sure if my hair was shorter, I could do this. See, this is why you try things new before you actually do them. Oh, that works. I'm actually going to part this into two little pigtails. That's cute. It's not exactly what I wanted, but it's still cute. So 
So I'm not applying any foundation today because I'm still su suffering from a bit of a breakout. It's fine. I really want to do like a cool toned look today. So I'm trying to decide what colors to use. I think I'm going to use a bunch of like shades from the James Charles palette and the 25L palette from Morphe. And so first I'm going to do something really unethical and take a piece of good old classic scotch tape and just like put it there. I can't, I can't see anything out of that eye, you know? But you know what, that's fine. Then I'm gonna take my good old classic beauty blender, little itty bitty baby blender. And then I'm gonna, I'm gonna try something new. I'm gonna dip the little round part into the eyeshadow base and then just cover my lid. I'm gonna pat it on. Flashback Mary Who. Sister James Ware. So first I'm going to go in with Social Blade from the James Charles palette on my Firma 202 brush. And then I'm just going to pat that all over my crease and lid. Mostly in the crease though of the inner part of my eye. And it's going on just so nicely. It's like, it's just coming right off the, the brush. It's, it's great. Then I'm gonna go in with a little bit of Nature, which is slightly darker than Social Blade. I'm putting it right there. Then I'm going to go in with Parade, which is a, a teal shade from the 25L palette. And using that. Then I'm going to go in with the shade, I'm going to clean my brush. Then I'm going to go in with the shade Playground from the James Charles palette and pat that on and then blend it into Parade. Then I'm going to go in with a little bit of cola, just a tiny bit, to give a cooler, not cooler, a warmer blue. And I'm gonna go in with Escape from the James Charles palette to finish that off and blend it into cola. And I'm bringing this basically up to my eyebrow. Not all the way, I want a little bit of space, but basically all the way up there. Now to do my other eye. Something I want to say, I also swatched the uh, primer onto my hand before I took a shower and it survived the shower guys, which means this primer could possibly survive my multiple crying fits that I have in a day. It's actually an eyeshadow base, which I personally feel is the same thing as an eyeshadow primer. And it was actually quite affordable and I quite enjoy it so far. Let's hope it passes the crease test because that was my problem with the Kat Von D Whiteout Concealer. It did not pass my crease test. And I don't know if that's because I have really oily lids or what, because I do have really oily lids. There are certain parts of my face that actually get oily. This part of my nose, my eyelids, and my forehead are the only parts of my face that get oily. Everything else is extremely dry. So it's really hard for me to like moisturize in all the right places, you know what I mean? Because you can't desiccate your eyelids. That would be really 
bad for your skin, you know what I mean? So I just always put eyeshadow on, even if I'm not like, even if I'm just like staying around the house, you know what I mean? And I'm just going back in with all the shades I used before and blending them in. I love the little like ring that it does. Ooh, this is a very carnival y look. Now, I'm trying to decide to use the shade Milk or Flashback. I think since it's such a white look, I think I'm gonna go with Flashback. So I'm gonna use a small concealer brush to cut my crease, and I'm just gonna dip it gently. Oh, that's soft. That primer is soft. That base is, is soft. It's not a primer, it's a base. And I'm gonna cut my crease just above my natural lid shape. And I'm gonna bring that all the way out. And then I'm gonna go in with a crease brush also from e.l.f. and dip into Flashback in the James Charles palette. I forgot how like not opaque this is. I honestly thought the white primer would show up a lot more opaque on my eyelid. All right, now I'm going to remove the tape. That's pretty crisp. Then I'm gonna do my other eye. All right, so I'm going to move on to the liner and I'm going in with the NYX Professional Makeup Epic Black Mousse Liner. I'm using an angled brush from Ardell. Actually, it's the same brush that I use for my brows. And I'm just gonna lightly go into this this is like one of my first time, one of my first, one of my first couple of times using like a brush and a pot liner. So I'm not really experienced at it. Good thing I'm not going anywhere. First, I'm going to start with my wing. That was the easiest wing I've ever done in my life. Then I'm going to do the little eyeliner itself on the lid. Then I'm starting in the middle. Judge me if you want. Oh, that's nice. I like it. Now moving on to my other eye. And my hair is just deciding, let's just like come up. Let's not stay down. Why would we ever stay down? Also, I have no eyebrows. You can only see this because there's still product in it, but like these are all the eyebrows I have. Actually, I have even less than that because there's still product in that. Okay, so if you make any mistakes, it's not going to come off. It apparently dries really quickly. I 
that's nice. I like it. Oh my gosh, guys, are you excited? So tomorrow, the first episode of Friend Does My Makeup is coming out. Now, I don't let people do my makeup. It's just not my thing because it's very near and dear to my heart. And my face is very important to me. So I'm going in with Liberation on a crease brush because it's round. And I'm just popping that into my inner corner. It's a nice like iridescent green. And then for my lower lash line, I think I'm gonna go in with a little bit of Truth from the Morphe 25L palette. And since it's nice, such a nice dark color, I'm not gonna bother priming under my eyes. You can see a line from the tape <laughs> where it removed skin. It's great. And then I think I'm gonna go in with a little bit of playground for under the eye. And then I'm using a smudger brush. I'm using a shader brush from Slim Glam, Slim Glam. That's really dark. Oh well, let's hope I can brighten up my eyes again. So then I'm going to go in with the white retractable eyeliner and tight line my lower lash line. This is reminding me of that one James Charles look that he did where he had like the red, yellow, orange on the side and then like these colors and he did like white. Ooh, that looks extra dark. <laughs> but that's fine. So now I'm going to use that same Ardell brush I'm going to clean it, of course, but I'm going to use the same Ardell brush and the Ardell Dark Brown Brow Pomade to do my brows. I really want a, like, fluffy brow. So I'm going to outline the bottom and the top of the tail and fill in the tail, but I'm not going to outline the top. I'm just going to fluff up. That's big, but you know what? I'm not against it. Who needs concealer when you have fingernails? Also, I ripped off half my nail at work. It was great. Now to do the other eyebrow. That one's even thicker. I remember why I outlined the top. So I don't go crazy. Oh my gosh, remember in like the 2000s when you did like the pencil thin brows? Oof. <clears throat> and I just like have that one line in the middle of my eyebrow. 
my makeup's been weird. So I think I'm gonna go in with the Born to Glow. And I don't remember what shade I got. What shade did I get? Shade number two, Gleam. And I'm just gonna dot it. Yeah, dot it on. And then blend it out with a wet sponge. And see what happens if it would blend. Is it just me or does it look like there's nothing there? That's because it <laughs> it looks like there's nothing there. Let's just squirt out a little bit more. Oh, that's a lot. Oh, that's better. And then put a little on the jawline, a little bit on the chin. That's a lot better. And then I'm gonna dot some over on this side. Camera focus. There we go. It does not want to blend out. I'm a little disappointed. It does not want to blend out. I'm very upset. I'm gonna put a little on the forehead, a little bit more on the chin and the jawline. It doesn't want to blend out. I'm pretty frustrated. I wonder how I would apply it with my fingers. Or you know what, I'll go in with a concealer brush to do under my brows. Get a little bit on there. It just looked like nothing was there. Okay, so I'm just gonna put a lot. Okay, that's a little bit better. You can't really see it on camera, but in real life it looks better. Actually, you can see it now. That's really not like enough of a glow. This isn't really doing it for me. Let's see how it applies on my finger. Ew, it's so sticky. I mean, you have three hits and one miss. That's like a 75% win. Let's just get a lot and then dab it on. Oh, if you pat it on, it... Maybe you need to pat it on. Nope, it just disappeared. Or maybe you, well, you can see it on camera, but you can't see it in real life. Oh, but you can see it great on the camera. Let's put a little bit right here. I don't know. I don't know. I think I'll... It's it's still sticky. You see that? It's... I just dropped it. It's really disappointing. I'm kind of upset because I had such high hopes. I had such high hopes. It doesn't have like glycerin or anything in it. So I'm a little confused as to why it's so sticky. I'm gonna try and highlight my forehead a little bit more, whatever is left on the sponge. It's not, it's not doing it. It's not. I don't know if this look needs a little bit of blush to complete it. Or like what? But I don't know about you, but like I'm feeling the eyes. I just wish that it was more white, you know? Now I'm going in with the Tinted uh, Lip Oil from W7. 
and then just coating my lips because I love this stuff. I'm actually living for the eyeliner and it's not really smudging on my hand. Neither is the twistable liner. Look at that. Hey, that's pretty good. But the, the base smudges really easily. And the uh, illuminator that I patted on is just wisping away. It's not even, not even there anymore. It's like it never existed. So these are definitely getting added to the daily. This is getting added to the daily. <laughs> this is basura. <laughs> That is garbage. And I think that's a complete look for today. Didn't take me too long to do it. I'm gonna see if like I can like get this to cooperate better with like my little boar hair brush. It's not doing it, but <laughs> that's fine. Maybe if like, I don't know, maybe if I like pat on milk over this oh okay that's that's a catastrophe why did i do that i think i might be mildly insane just a little bit just a little bit but that's a complete look for today I need more highlight. <laughs> not doing it for the highlight. This liquid illuminator is not doing it for me. It looks like nothing on my shoulders. Looks like nothing. Looks like nothing on my collarbone. Maybe if I like pat it on more, I don't know. Actually, let's just test it. Pat on a little bit more. If I just pat it on my finger and then just rub it in with the finger, just back and forth. It kind of disappeared. Well, wait, wait, wait. Nope, that's just because it's liquid. It's not really, it's not really giving me a glow. I'm so disappointed. But oh well, this is a finished look using the Morphe X James Charles palette and the Morphe 25 L's palette. Mm, I feel cute. This is Instagrammable. All right, bye.